There is an opinion letter that was published in the New York Times this week. It is called The um, End of Identity Liberalism. The author is Mark Lilla. I don't know the, the author. I Maybe I need to research a bit more uh, on who he is. Uh, in this circumstance, the letter of opinion argues that the reason for the uh, defeat of Hillary Clinton in the presidential election it's because she gave up identity politics that on the national uh, on foreign policy her hawkish policy is you know scores well with people who are concerned with identity politics so that's good but when it comes to domestic policy, uh, she's not so good because she's so concerned with diversity and multiculturalism and minorities and gay rights and African Americans and Latinos and immigrants. And I think that basically is just a bunch of baloney. And the reason being that the reason the Democratic ticket lost this last election is not because they did not court, they did, did not uh, take care enough of the conservative voters. It's because they took too much care of the conservative voters. They went after being the corporates they are, the DNC and the Democratic Party, thought. Well, we are not, we don't sound enough like Republicans. So we need to be more Republican sounding. So they went after these conservative voters and they actually were very credible doing that with the establishment. That's why they got so many endorsements from uh, newspapers, newspapers being conservative traditionally. The problem is it did not give them, it did not get them any votes. And the problem is, when you try to own what you are not, people don't buy into it. If you try to sound, uh, you know, Republicans have been acting for years like they are the only ones who are patriotic, they are the only ones who, uh, I'm talking about the Republican leadership, of course, that they are, they are the only ones who love America, they are the only ones who love Jesus, and then you're gonna you're gonna try to convince me that the way to defeat them is to double down to try to look more Republican than them no that's not the way it works the way it works and the author of that letter mentions that white uh, workers the, uh, the the white labor class felt that you know, the Democratic ticket did not take care of them, did not speak to them. Yeah, it, actually, it did not speak to them, but it had nothing to do with them being white. It had to do with them being workers and the Democratic Party having nothing significant to talk about when it comes to labor rights. So they felt abandoned. And the reason that Donald Trump was able to own uh, labor rights and workers is because the Democratic ticket actually abandoned that entire section, that entire turf. If the Democratic ticket had occupied that turf, there is no way that Donald Trump would have been able to compete on what is, you know, the uh, Democratic trademark. And the proof of that is that, you know, Bernie Sanders in the primary did very, very well with these voters. He also did very well with the millennials. So uh, because he was being himself and because he had something substantial to propose, the, you know, he, he didn't just say, well, don't vote for the other guy because the other guy is a racist. He had something, an alternative to propose. So I think that if we... Uh, you know, listen to the author of that letter, Mr. Lilla, then I think that we're just going, going off the ditch. 
that is not the way to go. We need to bring the Democratic Party and the progressive movement more on progressive values. We don't need to sound and, and look like Republicans. We're not fooling anyone.